Okay, so hey guys, Ash here, and let's talk about filing. So there's going to be three different types of filing, and we're going to just kind of go over it real quick. So we're going to use this plastic block, which is pretty basic. So today, you know, in 2022, we've got the beautiful technology of nickel titanium. You know, it can go around in circles and, you know, keep this shape, which is amazing. So we're very fortunate, trust me. I started out with hand files. I mean, probably all of us did at some point. Um, in dental school and then uh, but nickel titanium has really changed the game so let's go over let's start with two different let's talk about the different types of files real quick so we've got our stainless steel you know everyone knows a 10 file there's c we've got c files people have asked me about c files i just go with the because i work in a few different places usually it's more complicated to get c files so i've just been using regular files so if you have a full square so you see how it's like black or white full square or even you know it the outs the the square denotes what type of cross sectional diameter or what it, you know what the cross section looks like. If you've got a circle, that tells us that that's a headstrom file. So it's more for what we call filing. So if I kind of even do it on my fingernail, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but it is amazing. Look at that. I don't recommend you doing this, but you know the shape of it isn't an S shape, but it's just really aggressive and it's made for filing. You can use them for removing gutter percha as well. But headstrums are great. So if you're, you know, if you're quickly looking at different files, you're like, oh, what do we have in here? And you see the circle, like, well, I would highly recommend not watch winding that one or screwing it in because it's very aggressive and easy to break if you're screwing in. The other cross-sectional type is nickel titanium, or it's uh, half, you know, kind of half clear, half white. And this is a nickel titanium hand file. Now these are really useful for trying to hand file using the balance force technique. And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, around you know crazy curves which your nickel titanium your rotary or reciprocating file won't get around so let's get back to just the first standard type of filing so let's see I think these are already set for a 15 file anyway so it's gonna be you know everyone knows the, hand, the watch winding so it's kind of like 30 degrees just back and forth in your in your files and you know what I've noticed is that oh, look at me. don't look at that sorry about that <laughs> What I've noticed with brand new, with new grads and whatnot, is that they kind of hold on to the file really meaty, and it's really important. It's just a nice light tactile file filing form, filing you know kind of file holding. And what'll happen is that as we let's go to a 15 because it's already set. These are already fairly large uh, canals, and you can see before I even ruin this square is that we have kind of a. It's already got a you know a decent curve on it. I can't even tell you what degree that is. It's a 45, I'm not sure. But to do that with, say that was really large and you needed to get a large file down there, we're gonna talk about that. We'll use the balance force technique, which was created by Jim Rohn. So that's what the balance force technique is really for, getting around curves. But we're gonna use it for large files as well, in terms of opening up really, really large, say central incisors. So the hand file, so this is one, you know, I just noticed this because I've been teaching lots of brand new grads. Um, they'll get their, you know, real meat or they'll kind of really get a meaty hand hold on to it. And it's really hard to feel anything. So it's just going to be a nice light kind of feel right there. And the file, as we're watch winding it, let's see if we can get it in there, will actually watch, walk its way down the canal on its own. What will happen is that the file, as I'm watch winding it, will kind of go like that in my fingers and I'll have to reset and kind of hold it back here. Now, let's see if we're out, not yet. Um, so that's watch winding. So it's just kind of like 30 degrees back and forth. If you want a hand piece that does that, it's called the M4 by Kerr, and it just does reciprocating 30 degrees back and forth. It's air driven. It's kind of, I mean, it's, I don't find it. I tried it. I think I actually have one. I don't use it, but you can, you know, whatever. Try it out. So the next one, so that's watch winding. The next one is filing. So filing is really just back and forth, up and down. And we use that to create our glide path. So we already have our file. So for example, you say for example, in real life, we finally watch wind down or 10 down to length, like in the course, and then we're gonna do smoothies. So it's just this filing motion back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, 10 to 40 times, just getting that little bit of motion just there. We're making a smooth glide path. And then once we have our smooth glide path with our file a little bit out, we're gonna bring it back out, you know, bring the file you know, up a little bit, back out. And what I'm doing here is this is how I check to see if I have a really smooth glide path. There we go, so boom. All right, so the last one, so let's 
let's watch. So it's 16 millimeters. These are typically 60 millimeters. So remember, you know, if you imagine the bounce force technique, if you want to learn it, it's pretty simple. So I've taken that a little bit long. It's a little bit, so I'm just going to, let's go to a 20. So imagine anything after like 20 in a 20 stainless steel file that's pretty stiff. You can buy nickel titanium hand files if you want to do that. Uh, I don't really use them underneath anything like a 50. But if you imagine we're trying to hand file this, and sometimes what happens is, you know, we're going to watch wine that, we'll watch wine pull, watch wine pull, let's hand file this. Make sure I don't go too long. Try and do it through my phone. So I'm going to, I'm going to watch because it's roughly 16 mils. Watch wine pull, we'll take the flutes out and then we'll clean. So we're going to shape this by hand to say a 35. I'm not gonna step it back, but you'll see what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna watch my pull, there it is, out a little bit. So it's out just a hair, so let's call it right there. I think, yeah, 16 mils. All right, we're not gonna do it perfect. Okay, so the next file we're gonna do, so as the file gets stiffer, it's more complicated to get that file around the corner. So what you can do, rather than using watch winding, we're gonna do a balance force technique. You could probably watch wind this around, but let's just do a balance force technique. And a balance force technique is designed to screw the file in a little bit, and then as you, it's not to keep screwing the file in, and then you use counter counterclockwise turning with apical pressure to break the dentin. So it'll, it'll be like, Kind of, and watch my, the easiest way is just to kind of watch the number. So it'll be a quarter turn in, it, that'll screw it in. So it screws down like that. And then what I'll do is I'll do a full turn, a three quarter turn, a full turn counterclockwise, or a whole turn, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna break dentin and turn it, put apical pressure and then turn it counterclockwise. So let's do this. And this is, you know, this was, this was created before nickel titanium was around. So we'll screw it in, let's do a quarter turn. Okay, so a quarter turn like that, and then we'll do a full turn counterclockwise. And then we'll take it out, and you can see we should have cut just a little bit of dentin, and we'll do it again. So a quarter turn, I'm gonna place that seat that all the way down. So we'll do a quarter turn, that. You can see it's seat, so it screws in a little bit, and then a full turn counterclockwise. And you see what happens was the file did not go back out. Because if we're unscrewing it, it usually will turn backwards. It'll come out. So you can see we've got some dentin cut there. So this is what will happen if you don't place apical pressure. You'll screw it in. And you're like, okay, I'm going to cut the dentin. And then it just, if you don't put an apical pressure, it just unscrews, <laughs> it screws back out. And it's kind of frustrating. Okay, so let's check with patency. Make sure you have patency here. Yeah, no ledge either. All right, so let's go to the 30, the 30 file. I appreciate if you've stuck to this point because this is getting kind of boring here. Anyways, this is the same thing. We'll screw it in. So we'll place it apical, so it's seated. So quarter turn in, full turn around, quarter turn in, full turn around, full turn in. There's, and I'll normally do three cutting cycles. You can see we've got debris on our flutes. And then Check our patency. And then, so as you can see, the beauty of using this technique, so now we're up to a 35. The beauty of this technique is that you don't ledge. So I'm doing a balance force technique. Whoop. We cut some debris. And then, because remember, even, you know, we're opening canals up to at least a 30 or four, or at least a 35 or four, that's what I like to go to. So we'll do the same thing, cut, cut, cut. Pull it out. We've got debris, file still intact. And then let's check for patency, all the way there. And the idea is to, you know, you'd be irrigating the whole time, but you can see we've followed the path of the canal the whole time. Now. Yay. Okay, let's, what I wanted to do when I was thinking about creating this video, let's go up to a 60. Let's see if we can track this. Now, this is nickel titanium, and 
I'll do this in a, I don't really use nickel titanium, but let's see how effective the technique is. So look at where we're starting. So Okay, so there's some debris there. I haven't done this before, so we're gonna check it out. And you could really use this for crown down technique too, if you want. If you really wanna go old school, like this crown down and then go And you can hear the cutting. Oh yeah, so that wasn't the reason why I wanted to do this because then you can hear actually what's going on because you will hear, there's a great article, I'll include it here. It just talks about kind of the things with using the balance force technique. So we screwed it in, cut, screwed in, cut, screwed in, cut. File still intact. And you can do, so I'm doing this, and the reason why I'm doing this with nickel titanium is also to show you that it will work with nickel titanium files. Screw in, cut, screw in, Cut, screw in, cut. I mean, obviously there's gonna be a point where I'm just, it's not gonna go because it, it's so tiny. Screw in, cut, screw in. All right, I think that's the extent. So then we would go to, so that's a 60, then we go to a 50. So we're starting to create our chicken leg there. This is old school balance force, or old school crown down technique. So there's a step back technique and then there's crown down. You can see how that file, if you screw it in, it'll start and it's plastic too, so it doesn't work really well. So we went to 50, 55, I don't have anything smaller. Anyways. Okay, let's stop there. Oh yeah, so the last thing is, let's go with our, okay, so that gives you an idea. I didn't know where I was going with that. Anyways, it gives you an idea of what the balance force technique is. And then say for example, you can see it's starting to kind of ledge a little bit there just because of, it's not even ledging, it's just because the file's so big. What headstrums are good for in terms of filing is placing around that curve, you know, you can remove it's, these are great for filing. So you can see, say for example, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it there and I'm gonna pull and it'll kind of get rid of that little ledge. So if you're starting to do more root canals, you know, an assorted pack of these are really useful. So we'll sneak it past that spot. And then this, you can use regular K files, but this is much more efficient to do, kind of smooth that out. Let's see if we still have patency. Oh, we don't. All right. Oh no, we do. Okay, so there's a little, so that was a little bit of blockage there just from Denton, just from debris. So you can see I put a little bit of pressure there. I was like, oh, game on. So we're out. Obviously, we're not irrigating. And then another way to file. So that's when you use filing technique too, is to, to try to get rid of some of those little ledges and whatnot. You can file that there. Remember, it, you're I'm, you're only seeing two degree two dimensions. You're not actually seeing the third dimension, which would be right there. And we can't see it. Anyways, hopefully that's helpful. Let me know. I kind of rambled on for a bit there, but I wanted to show you a couple of things. There we go. I'm just gonna continue on there just for a second. I think there's someone outside my door who needs to talk to me about something. So I will leave you with that. Anyways, let me know if that helps. And uh, I'm so grateful you're here and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.